Welcome back guys. In this video, we will see how to set up a Visual Studio Code IDE for HTML and through this program we will use the same. Check the download link in the description. I found this IDE to be comfortable to run various programming languages in one go. So I have chosen this. You can choose any IDE of your own. This is the welcome screen in the VS Code IDE. Here the first step is to add a new folder. Let me click this and add a new folder to store the program files in any desired location. Ok now after creating a new folder just click add. And now here you can see the folder visual studio code and a workspace within the folder. If you cannot find a workspace like this in your folder just head over to file and click add folder to workspace to create a new one. Since I already got it let me cancel this. Now click the folder and add a new file for the html code. Make sure to name the file with the .html extension to save the html code. Even if you didn't use the dot extension, you can also choose the language by clicking this button found below. Here you can find many other languages supported by this editor. So here let me choose html itself. Then the next step is to get the preview of the html code typed here. We can get the output in the external browser, but let me show you how to get an inbuilt preview. For this head over to the extensions, here you can find all the plugins available. Here just search for HTML preview plugin and install it. I have already installed it. So using this you can get the inbuilt preview in the editor itself. Note the shortcut keys given here to activate the plugin and get the preview of the HTML code. Without wasting much time, let's directly get into the code and check how the plugin works. Let me type a sample program to check the output preview. That's it. Now let's check how the output of the HTML works in input preview. Just use the shortcut key to get the preview in another term. So here is our output of the code. Next let's see how the code works in an external browser as the HTML code of every web page is executed in our browser only. For this in the extension section search for live server plugin. Install this live server so that you can see the live output of your code in a browser as shown here. You can get an instant output just by saving your file. Now let's check how the live server works. Before this we need to select a browser for the output. For this head over to settings and search for live server.settings.custom browser in the user panel and select your browser in the drop down. Here I have selected Firefox as my browser. After completing this close the settings and now let me show you how this works. In the HTML file just do, do a right click and click open with the live server or use the shortcut key. And here you can see the output hello world. Now let me have the screen in a split screen manner. Now whenever you do a change in the existing file just click save or ctrl plus s to see the new output of the file. Here you can see that once I click the save option the file refreshes and loads the output again. So that's it in the upcoming videos we will cover what is the meaning of each and every tag used here and how to write a HTML code on your own. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Hope you like the content.